I'm Doll Trick, and welcome to A Trick A Day. Uh, this is a new series where we spend a few minutes every day exploring something related to music technology. And I'm a big fan of consistency, so I often say that a little bit of consistent practice every day beats cramming, say, hours of practice into one session and then not practicing for weeks or months. And this is primarily for my students, but even if you're not studying with me, you're more than welcome to join in for the ride. So every day I hope to share a trick <laughs> with you that I use in my music creation processes, including production, performance, and programming, and design as well. And for today's pilot episode on A Trick A Day, we're going to take a look at Ableton Live and how to create tempo changes in Session View. So let's get started. Over here, I am in Session View in Live, and you'll notice that I have an audio track over here. Right now, it's empty, but I've labeled it drums, and that's because I like to pull a drum loop onto it. So I've um, typed in the word drum over here into my browser search bar and I've pulled up some samples in my library so let's take a listen yeah I was messing around with this earlier on so that's why I had it highlighted but I did like this loop a lot so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on it and drag it from the browser into this track over here and you'll notice also that the tempo immediately kind of switched to whatever the tempo of this particular loop is so now it's 122 0.91 instead of 120, which is the default in live. But let's take a listen to this. Great, so we got that going. Now, of course, the most straightforward thing we could do is change the tempo directly from this top left corner over here where the BPM is. Another way that we could do this is by launching different scenes in live. And this is useful, let's say, if I'm going from maybe one tempo to a different tempo. So let's do a quick little experiment. I'm going to hold down the Option key on my Mac or the Alt key if I were on a PC. And I'm going to click and drag this loop down. So now I have two versions of this drum loop. I have one up here, one up here. Right now, they're kind of the same. Um, but what if I want to make them play at different tempos? So I'm going to head over to the master track over here, all the way on the right. And I'm going to rename these tracks. So it's going to be Command-R on a Mac or Control-R on a PC. I'm going to call the first one, um, maybe, let's do something a little bit faster. Let's do 140 BPM. And maybe for the second one, let's do half of that. Let's do 70 BPM. So it'll almost seem as if we're doing like a half time sort of feel. But this is a great way of changing tempos in session view in live, especially if you're going from one scene to another. Maybe you have one song and then you have a next song after that if you're doing some kind of live performance. But here's how it's, it'll sound like if we launch these scenes in the, from the master track now. So here's scene number one at 140 BPM. Also going to bump up the volume of the drums. And scene two, here we go. And back to scene one. a little softer too because let's say we want it to maybe try something even a little bit crazier maybe want it to launch a totally different scene with some other sort of tempo we could absolutely do that so let's see if we can take a look at this i'm going to rename this on the fly so let's even try 130 bpm here is 140 and 130 and let's stop all clips. So this is something that I like to do even when I'm DJing in live. I have a particular template that I use when I'm DJing um, and playing back tracks rather than doing live electronic performance since those are um, pretty separate, or at least I consider them pretty separate. But yeah, generally this is the way I would change um, or go between different kinds of tempos if I were doing a live performance or doing a DJ set in Ableton Live. And that's our trick a day. So that's how you change tempo in Session View in Live. Um, and thanks so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you do subscribe, go ahead and hit that notification bell below so that you can be notified for whenever I go uh, live next or whenever I, pun intended, <laughs> or whenever I have another video out in this series. But in the meantime, thanks again for watching. This has been Doll Trick, and I'll see you next time for the next trick. Doll Trick.